Hey all, welcome back to another Less Is More video. We're going to try this out and see how it's working. Uh, after a lot and a lot of tweaking, um, Optifine, uh, some other settings, uh, I have to unfortunately not record in uh, HD anymore. There's no more HD, uh, at least not until I uh, get a new processor. This one just uh, is not up to the task. And... Uh, it's going to change the way I record a little bit. I can't run Audacity and <laughs> the recording software at the same time. Uh, just the, uh, just not enough processors to uh, run the game and do all that. So that sucks. But uh, it'll still work. It'll still work. It'll just uh, add an extra step in there as far as cleaning up the audio. Because I don't have any pre-processors, any sort of uh, noise cancellation equipment. Uh, so I will have to go in there and manually clean it up, but no big deal, no big deal. We're still back in here. Uh, I've done a lot of work off camera, both in Garden of Glass and here in Less is More. So first of all, I will, let's take a look at uh, what I've done in both worlds to kind of uh, square me away a little bit. Now you will see some, some lag occasionally, and uh, honestly, some of that was there even with the other processors. Uh, this world is pretty intensive. There's just a lot of stuff running. But if we look at our project board, I found this is kind of what I need to focus myself on, on what I need to do still in the world. And there are no particular order. There's no urgency on, say, one more than the other, uh, except for maybe B fuel processing, which I have already done. Uh, I've got the stuff in place. We're on the second of three oil wells that I marked. Uh, they're really, really big, so they'll, they'll run a while. But we're processing a lot of B uh oil combs and petroleum combs and we'll go take a look at that in just one second but some of the other stuff i want to do is you know of course we've talked about is the frame quarry uh, i would make to, like to make a large village of course we'll have to either move some villagers over here or create our own using uh some zombie villagers and then once i get about three or four five six of those i can make a breeder and uh, I'm planning on putting it somewhere like over in the desert. I am in peaceful right now. I find that uh, a majority of the time that I lag out a little less if I don't have to worry about all the mobs uh, that are in the world. So I, I honestly am staying in peaceful most of the time. Um, the only time I lagged before where I would turn it off is when I would go over there to the power plant. Uh, now, I, I find that the longer I leave it on, the more I will lag out. You know, it's not bad for like uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but then uh, eventually, uh, I know they're supposed to despawn, but you know how it goes. Some mobs just, uh, even though they're outside of loaded chunks, they just seem to stay there and they never go anywhere. So, I was just going peaceful and then going right back in. It would just kind of delete all the mobs, but uh, a lot of times I just forget to do that. <laughs> I won't lie. I forget. Uh, so what, uh, another thing I want to do is I want to make a better mob spawner. Uh, this thing works great. It's easy to make uh, early game, but I would like to make this a lot more efficient. Now, I do have Tier 5... Uh, what do I have? I have Endermen, Skeletons, Blazes, and Zombie Pigmen. Uh, I have one for cows. I have a tier three uh, wither skeleton. I have not gotten up to tier five. I went over there and uh, I, I went to the nether. Uh, if y'all want to see that, let me know. There's really nothing there. I just took the uh, Buildcraft Builder with me and uh, had it flatten big areas and then uh, filled in a bunch of other stuff. So I just had this huge flat spot on top of the fortress or where the some of the fortresses I haven't leveled the whole thing I haven't been through the entire thing yet and uh, just kind of moved from one end to the other and would, as I get down to one end they'd spawn on the other and then when I went back to kill those they'd spawn on the other side so I ended up getting six skulls uh, added Vorpal about halfway through I realized I wasn't getting any skulls so I went and put Vorpal and if I recall correctly Vorpal gives a better drop on head uh, the rate on heads. Let's go to sleep real quick. It, it's a good habit to get into just to keep it from raining. 
because I don't have a rainmaker made, even though I could make one and uh, even build the dissipation charges. I just have not done it. Maybe something else I I do down the line. I should add that to the project board. Um, so I do have a beacon out there. It's not a max size. It's one level shy. I just really wanted speed. And uh, honestly, with concrete, I really don't notice a difference. So I, I don't see a point in making any more of those. And there's no other use for nether stars in this particular pack. Absolutely no. There's nothing else you can make with it. Beacon is it. So not really. I, I mean, the concrete does kind of the same thing. So yeah. And I don't really need regen that much. Now, uh, I put update ore processing on here just because that's probably going to go along with the frame quarry. Uh, we'll have to see how the frame quarry hits uh, the game as far as lag. I mean, if it causes any lag, then of course I'll have to slow it down. But um, I think that it will be quicker than, our, than a buildcraft quarry. So what I will uh, initially do is just bump everything up to resonant. I think the furnace is already resonant. No, 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 no. The, the, the pulverizer is already resonant and I've got the uh, uh, augments in there to not speed it up, but increase the secondary chance against this one. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, for the secondary chance. So, like lead will drop iron or, or you know, the, some things drop gold as you process them. So with the those augments, it just ups. Uh, I have the level 3 in here. It adds an 81% chance for the secondary uh, drop to come through when it's pulverized. So it's not faster, but it, it does give me more more dust and whatnot. And, but I don't think, unless I really slow this down, that it will be able to keep up with the... So we'll probably switch those over to speed, which will mean more power, but that's okay. We've got plenty of power now. And um, the pulverizer also, or I'm sorry, the furnace will also have to be upgraded. And we may have to add more, but that's okay. We'll upgrade that as needed. Um, beef fuel processing done. Better mob spawner we talked about. I have a tier 5 cow. Uh, which we call it uh, stone, soul stone, and I'll probably get one for sheep and well, not sheep, pigs. Yeah, sheep now. Maybe chickens. Probably not chickens. Chickens are annoying. And then uh, the last one I think, and I've been kind of pondering this how I could do it with this. And I think with Billcraft Gates and uh, all the uh, uh, assorted accoutrements, I think that we can do a push button auto crafting of some of the things that I use the most. In building things like filters, servos are real big. Um, I could probably make the basic pipes. I don't want to adjust because if we go in and look, you, you might see that I've upgraded the uh, the room down here just a little bit, kind of cleaned it up, opened it up a little bit more. But one of the things I did is these are automatic uh, magma crucibles. What they do is they just uh, Hey baby, my little kitty cat coming up here getting in my face. He's just like she's just like right in my face, like what you doing? Why aren't you paying attention to me? Um, so what these do is when I need to use these, are you licking my arm? It's kind of weird with your little sandpaper tongue. So when I use them, how? She's biting me. I'm not paying attention. She's like, hey. So this way I can use whatever I need to use, and then just put it back on here, and it'll fill these tanks back up. Uh, added some cyclic assemblers and if you don't know what these are these are kind of the auto crafting system well automatic crafting tables not automatic crafting uh, from thermal expansion you uh, make a schematic and that's real easy to do you just put a blank schematic in here put your recipe hit click and it'll make a schematic here and uh, then your recipe of course will go down here and you can adjust uh, with the configuration where you want it to go if you've got an automatic feeding. Uh, this one is for Enderium, and I can just come over here and drop a tank on there. I don't have to worry about buckets, and it'll make my Enderium for me. And then, of course, uh, this one is for Signalium, which I do not use a lot of, but 
occasionally I do for things like filters. Um, this is kind of like your high tier, and this is the tier below that as far as talking about servos or filters. Uh, those that of course is the fastest. That's the next fastest, and then then of course you're into the uh, the lower tier stuff like Electrum which I'm running low on. I use a lot of Electrum. It's just the easiest to make, and uh, it's 100%. It's got a decent sized filter if you use it as a filter, and it's uh, it's 100% on the servo, so it's it's more than adequate. I use the Enderium on things like the sorting system to make sure that everything gets pulled out quicker, things like that. But, so I wouldn't use this for the auto crafting, because uh, I don't want to set up additional ones of those each time. But that's down the road. That's going to be a while. Like I said, i got a lot of other things to do first. The mob spawner, I've been watching a bunch of videos on different ways to do that. And I've seen some really cool ones. They're more on demand. Like this one is very, very passive. Um, you can see there's just uh, eight pads. There's two levels, eight pads. And uh, what it does is they just kind of wander around. And there's four channels. You can almost see them. Uh, I took the key out for zoom on Optifine. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but you can almost see there's four channels that they will fall into, and that pushes them into that center pipe, and then they fall down to uh, the area below. There's a uh, water down at the bottom, so none of them dies because they they will die if, from the top level, but they will not die from the bottom level. With the water in the bottom, none of them die, and then the uh, the uh, melee turtles just kill everything, but unfortunately they drop experience, so <laughs> kind of trying to figure out a way not to get experience, but I don't really need the drops either, so really it's only for experience, go figure. The ones that I'm using downstairs, the Enderman, Skeleton, and Zombie Pigmen, they're just, I'm just killing them, letting them drop to their death, and, and then getting their drops. So, the large village we talked about, update your process, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we talked about pretty much everything that we want to do uh, right now that I could think of. If you could think of something else that I should put on that project board, let me know. I've actually got an idea for down here. What I want to do is I want to get some of these, uh, uh, what are they called, translocation plates. And go ahead and put one every 16 blocks. So, I put one here, and what that would do is shoot me forward. 16 blocks and then at 16 blocks put another one so basically what you would do is as soon as you drop down it would be doop 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 doop, doop all the way down to the end and then it would pop you up to the top so that's really something I want to do but it's just not on the board I was thinking about that today as I was kind of running back and forth uh, doing this uh, B fuel stuff here so what we have is in our B building over here the B, uh, the the farmhouse, all the combs go over there and get processed. And then I added a tesseract over there that comes to this tesseract, which is the tree stuff. So our petroleum combs, which is this one, or I'm sorry, this is oily comb, and our petroleum combs uh, all come over here. And if you look at this number, it's 11,282. That each one of those is 500 mil buckets. So each one is half a bucket so there is approximately half as many buckets of oil in there as there is there so instead of 11,000 uh, it that 11,000 is going to make you know what 6,000 over 6,000 buckets of oil and that's the same thing with here so instead of you know 5,000 it's going to be 2,500 so there's a lot of fuel in both of these, and they're still going. They're still collecting, and I've got five refined bees going right now. <laughs> I've got a lot of refined bees going over there. And uh, the refined bees drop as their normal drop, the oily comb, and as their special drop, uh, the petroleum comb. So they drop oily and petroleum. The petroleum comes over here. I've only got two of these. I will probably end up adding at least one more squeezer for the oily and each one keeps 10 buckets so there's 30 buckets already in here 20 buckets already in there they're not activated yet uh, as far as pumping anything out or sending it this one will go to the oil tank 
And this one you can see goes directly into the Tesseract, which goes into our fuel tank that's out there. So this is done pretty much. Uh, like I said, I'll probably end up, I don't think this will be fast enough. I will probably end up adding one more, which is no big deal. All i got to do is slap it on there, add a fluid duct, and uh, some energy stuff. That's, that's about it. Uh, there's also a filter down below to make sure only oily combs. Because both of these go into the same pipe, and then they come over here. You can see the filter down there. I can't click on it, but you can see there's a filter down there that only allows petroleum combs to come in this one. And then we have oily combs going into these three. So that's how that's split up. So we should be ready to go. Like I said, we're on the second of three, and then I have one more. It's right next, pretty close to, well, not right next, very close. It's within visible range of the one that's being pumped currently. It's getting dark already, didn't we just sleep? I know it ain't been no 10 minutes. Well, I guess it has. Okay, well, yeah, we're, kind of, we're kind of at that point. So... The next video that's probably going to come out is going to, is not going to be another less is more. I will probably switch over and do the garden of glass. Uh, there's some stuff like I said that's still left in that world that I want to do. I mean, there's limitless stuff to do. I mean, uh, that's uh, I actually have a lot less lag in that world because I mean I can run that one on defaults at full speed. The only thing that lags me, and it lagged me before, was the uh, the automatic ore making with the uh, orchid but other than that it, it runs fine because it doesn't it, it's only got like five chunks loaded and everything is in five chunks so it's just not it's not as bad as this you know it's not all spread out and uh, it doesn't have the huge map that this one does and it uses a different mapping program it doesn't use journey map I don't know I may try changing that out so that's it for this one guys I appreciate you coming by and until next time see y'all later Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See ya.